What if a dead star could literally rip the atoms out of your body? Meet the Magnetar, a neutron star with a magnetic field one trillion times stronger than Earth's. To put that in perspective, if you put one where the moon is right now, it would instantly erase every credit card and hard drive on the planet from 240,000 miles away. Now, technically, if something like this entered our solar system, it would absolutely ruin everything, like planetary pinball-level chaos. But for the sake of this video, let's just pretend it doesn't. Here's where it gets terrifying. At 600 miles away, the magnetic field would start pulling the iron from your blood. Your body would literally become a compass needle pointing toward this cosmic monster. At 100 miles out, every atom in your body would be stretched into spaghetti-like shapes. Earth's atmosphere would be stripped away like peeling an orange. The magnetic field would be so intense it would disrupt atomic clocks. If this opening didn't give you cosmic nightmares, just wait. So how do you create something so magnetically powerful it defies imagination? It all starts with a star that's having the absolute worst day possible. We're talking about stars that are at least 10 to 25 times more massive than our sun. These are the cosmic giants that live fast and die spectacularly. When one of these massive stars runs out of fuel, it doesn't just quietly fade away like our sun will. Instead, it undergoes one of the most violent events in the universe, a core collapse supernova. In less than a second, the star's core, which is about the size of Earth, gets crushed down to just 12 miles across. Imagine taking Mount Everest and squishing it down to the size of a grain of sand. But here's where magnetars become special. During this collapse, if the star is rotating rapidly and has an extremely strong magnetic field to begin with, something incredible happens. The magnetic field lines get twisted and amplified by a factor of trillions. The result? A neutron star so magnetic that it makes every other magnetic object in the universe look like a weak refrigerator magnet. Now, let me tell you a real story about SGR 1806-20, the magnetar, that proved these objects are very, very real and very dangerous. On December 27, 2004, at 9.30 UTC, this magnetar, sitting a comfortable 50,000 light years away from Earth, had what scientists call a starquake. When I say starquake, I don't mean a little tremor. The crust of this neutron star, which is harder than diamond, literally cracked and shifted by just a few millimeters. That tiny crack released more energy in one-tenth of a second than our sun will produce in the next 150,000 years. The gamma-ray burst was so intense that it ionized Earth's upper atmosphere, temporarily disrupted radio communications, and actually affected the night side of our planet during the day. Several satellites were temporarily blinded, and some astronomers initially thought we were under attack by an alien civilization because the energy signature was unlike anything they'd ever seen. Remember, this happened from 50,000 light years away. That's like someone in New York affecting someone in Tokyo by snapping their fingers. But wait, let's put magnetars in perspective. These objects are so extreme that they break our normal ways of thinking about physics. A magnetar's magnetic field is so strong that it would be lethal to humans from 600 miles away. If you could somehow survive getting close to one, you'd discover that near the surface, the magnetic field is so intense it actually changes the shape of atoms themselves. We're not talking about bending metal or affecting electronics anymore. We're talking about rewriting the fundamental rules of chemistry. So how many of these cosmic nightmares are lurking in our galaxy? Currently, astronomers have confirmed about 30 magnetars in the Milky Way, with estimates suggesting there could be up to 3,000 total, most of them dormant or too far away to detect. The closest known magnetar to Earth is SGR 0418 plus 5729, sitting at about 6,500 light years away. That's practically next door in galactic terms. Even crazier is that neutron stars can be kicked out of their birth locations at incredible speeds, up to three million miles per hour. 
They're like cosmic bullets, and some of them are magnetars. While the chances are astronomically small, it's theoretically possible for a rogue magnetar to wander through our solar system. Now let's imagine the worst case scenario. A rogue magnetar is heading straight for our solar system. Here's how the end of the world would unfold, step by terrifying step. At 10 astronomical units away, Earth's magnetosphere might begin to feel subtle interference, not from the magnetar's magnetic field yet, but from the high-energy radiation pouring out from it. Cosmic radiation would pour in, causing mass extinctions in the upper atmosphere and ocean surface layers. Fast forward to the scenario I described at the beginning of this video. The magnetar is now within our solar system, and physics becomes viscerally, terrifyingly personal. At 1,000 miles away, the magnetic field would be strong enough to levitate any metallic object on Earth's surface. Cars would float, buildings with steel frames would crack and twist as their metal components are pulled skyward. Every compass on Earth would point directly at the approaching magnetar. At 600 miles, you'd literally feel a tugging sensation toward the magnetar. Your heart would struggle to pump blood as iron-rich hemoglobin tries to align with the magnetic field. Migratory animals would go completely insane, their magnetic navigation systems overloaded beyond comprehension. At 100 miles out, we reach the realm of physics so extreme it's hard to even describe. The magnetic field would be quadrillions of times stronger than anything we can create on Earth. Every atom in your body would be stretched and deformed. You wouldn't just die. You'd be transformed into something that barely resembles matter as we know it. But here's the truly mind-bending part. You probably wouldn't live long enough to experience the atomic stretching because the gamma radiation alone would cook every living thing on the near side of the planet in seconds. Hold on. I need to pause here to mention something that sounds like pure science fiction, but is actually real physics. In magnetic fields, this strong, something called magnetic biofringence occurs. Light itself starts behaving differently. Photons, particles of light, would actually split into two different polarizations that travel at different speeds. This means that in the final moments before Earth's destruction, the very nature of light would change. Colors and brightness might distort. To sensitive instruments, the universe would look warped, like light itself had changed its rules. Now, let me bring you back to reality. The scenario I just described is so astronomically unlikely that it makes winning the lottery 100 times in a row seem probable. First, there are only about 30 known active magnetars in our entire galaxy of 100 billion stars. Second, Magnetars only stay magnetically active for about 10,000 years before they calm down and become regular neutron stars. In cosmic terms, that's shorter than a human sneeze. Third, space is incomprehensibly vast. The chances of a magnetar wandering into our solar system are so small that it's not even worth calculating. But here's what I find absolutely amazing. The fact that we can even understand these objects shows how far we've come as a species. We've figured out the physics of objects so extreme they challenge our understanding of reality itself. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and watch the video on the right.